short discussion today because there's just not that much you need to know for the exam about these two topics, but AI and machine learning are two terms that have become present everywhere. Basically, you see this added by every vendor to like everything in computing, marketing, finance, security, even in your preferences for Google searches, uh, the, uh, the videos that YouTube suggests that you should watch next, the TV series that Netflix suggests <laughs> you should watch next, the ads that you see on Facebook, it all has to do in some way with these two terms. So what exactly is artificial intelligence? Now, some people would say it's just a lot of if statements. <laughs> and well, kind of yeah, as the name says, is the science of creating machines that imitate the thought process of human beings, human brain. But we're not there yet. AI is still very limited and it's actually limited by its knowledge base. It does not have just yet a generalized reasoning ability. So my personal advice is try to stay away from the term AI. Most of AI is actually just machine learning nowadays, at least in consumer products. So machine learning can be thought of as a subset of artificial intelligence, and it's an algorithm that processes inputs and produces results or outputs with the difference that it actually attempts to slightly alter its decision process with every new piece of information that it is exposed to. In general, machine learning needs some human help to understand what's true, what's false, what matches, what doesn't match, what's useful and what's not. Otherwise, it would not be able to learn anything new. This process is called training. Where, for example, you provide an engine with uh, 1000 images of different chihuahuas <laughs> and you tell it these are all chihuahuas. Trust me, all right? Then the algorithm attempts to learn the distinct features of a generic chihuahua from a thousand examples and hopefully next time you give it an image, it will be able to tell the difference between a chihuahua and a cat. Another category here is called deep learning. This can be considered as well a subset of machine learning. Uh, the way deep learning works is that it tries to address this limitation that requires a lot of human intervention in machine learning and tries to abstract the logical network or so-called neural network as a hierarchy of multiple layers from complex to very simple classes of knowledge. In cybersecurity, for example, deep learning would be able to figure out that malware is present in the network simply by analyzing hundreds of data points from network devices and deciding based on those that do not match an expected behavior without any explicit prior learning. Machine learning has a lot of uses in cybersecurity, for example, in data enrichment. Uh, a simple alert that hasn't yet been marked as a security incident can be enriched with data from a machine learning system that is able to correlate events that happened at the same time on different systems like user activity, active connections, and so on. Advanced theme products already do this. Now, of course, being able to understand that something is fishy in the network or inside of a workstation is the first step in understanding the behavior of malware and the creation of new signatures. And this is where machine learning helps tremendously as it is able to define or refine a signature based on observed current and historical behaviors. And finally, automated response in SIEMS nowadays is called security orchestration, automation, and response. A SOAR deals with incident response, but also with threat hunting. Its purpose is to fix the problem of TMI, of too much information, too many alerts, not enough eyes and brains to understand them all. So SOAR attempts to store and to use a database of security baselines and threat intelligence to react the moment a security incident is detected. Use that fine-tuned data with machine learning to automate the response and also to provide data enrichment for human eyes, for better understanding of the incident and of the response taken. Now for the exam, make sure you understand the difference between AI and machine learning and understand that they are supposed to adapt to modify their decision algorithm called a model 
Just make sure you understand the basic concepts. These are newly introduced topics in the CISA Plus exam, so they're not gonna be a big focus on the exam. But from a security perspective, understand that they're both good for discovering malicious activity on endpoints, on network traffic, or for user behavior. So if you found this informative, simple enough, and useful, don't forget to like and subscribe, and see you next time when we will be talking about digital forensics. Bye-bye and see you next time.